गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर स्पेशल शो कृषि दर्पण टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाइब्रिड राइस सीड प्रोडक्शन इन इंडिया हाइब्रिड राइस इज लाइकली टू प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन इंक्रीजिंग राइस प्रोडक्शन इन इंडिया टुडे वी आर प्लीज टू हैव फाइव एमिनेंट साइंटिस्ट अक्रॉस द कंट्री फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूट एंड दे विल एक्सप्लेन अस अबाउट technical and other details of hybrid rice seed production i take the opportunity to introduce dr suresh kumar m principal scientist from indian agricultural research institute he has got 10 years of experience in rice breeding and genetics then we have dr pin biang from central rice research institute katak he has also got 13 years of experience in rice breeding and genetics then dr shurendra kumar mina from directorate of rice research hyderabad he is well known for developing several rice hybrids in india then we have our honorable director of central rice research institute katak dr shilpa hb she has got 25 years of experience in rice breeding and genetics and she has also developed several novel methods of hybrid rice seed production and finally we have dr santosh rathod principal scientist director of rice research hyderabad he has developed several novel hybrid rice variety and he is one of the pioneer rice breeder in our country before going to discuss about the technical and other details of hybrid rice seed production i would like to ask dr suresh to briefly explain us about the importance and scope of hybrid rice seed production in our country thank you mr rajesh since rice is the one of the most important food crop for more than half of the world populations in india the demand for rice is predicted to increase from 99 million tons to 125 million tons by the year 2030 so in order to meet out this increasing demand this rice hybrid technology will play an important role to meet out this demand as far as the hybrid is concerned it gives 20% more yield compared to our traditional varieties in india this hybrid occupies nearly 4.5 million hectares and contribute 25 million tons to our rice contributions therefore the popularization of this rice hybrid seed technology is important and feasible among farmers to achieve this target productions thank you dr sudesh for sharing your valuable information with us and we came to know about the importance of rice hybrid in our country now dr shilpa can you briefly explain our farmers about the techniques of hybrid rice seed production uh, thank you dr rakesh hybrid is the progeny which is obtained by crossing two genetically different rice varieties a line is a, a male sterile line which is used mainly used as a female parent then har line it is also called as a, a fertility restorer line or a pollinator line which mainly used as a male parent a special a space isolation of 50 to 100 meter should be given so that uh, so that to avoid the foreign pollen from other varieties the row ratio of a and r lines should be maintained as 8 is to 2 or 10 is to 2 then the spacing between the parents it should be maintained as uh, 20 cm by 15 cm or 15 cm by 15 cm apart from that the synchronization of flowering among the parents could be achieved by spraying a gibberellic acid is a plant growth hormone at 5 to 10% of panicle emergence stage then clipping of leaf has to be followed for free movement and uh, a wide dispersal of pollen to achieve more yield then we have we can increase the high we can achieve the higher uh, hot crossing percentage or could be achieved by providing row pulling well i can say this hybrid rice technology would be grateful 
to would uh, would be very grateful to help our farmers to produce more yield thank you dr shilpa for giving us the core information about the hybrid rice seed production now dr pin it would be great pleasure if you kindly tell our farmers about the nutrient management aspects and how the harvesting should be done to get better quality seeds thank you dr rakesh and once again every good morning to all my dear farmers friends and also to all the viewers of the program proper nutrient management is very important in raising the yield of the seeds and for that initially a farmer has to apply 1 to 1.5 tons of farmyard manure in 1 hectare of land and for chemical fertilizer application a farmer has to apply 100 kg of new of nitrogen 50 kg of phosphorus and 50 kg of potash in 1 hectare of land need based application of zinc and iron is also recommended for getting better yields and harvesting is also very important practice that a farmer has to take an utmost care in order to get high seed purity and for that a farmer has to harvest the male parent or r line first and then after that he can harvest female parent or a line threshing and backing also should be done separately and the seed the average seed yields is around 15 to 25 quintal per hectare and in most of the cases we have seen that the seed yields in uh, dry season is higher than in wet season so for large scale production farmers or uh, any companies they are generally taken up in dry season that's all thank you very much thank you dr pin for your suggestions and valuable recommendations now Dr. Santosh, can you kindly briefly explain how much profit our farmers can make by producing this hybrid rice seeds? <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Rakesh. The hybrid seed production has proven to provide 15 to 20 percent more yield as compared to the varieties. In one of the recent studies conducted by Director of Rice Research, Hyderabad, in rice seed, research, uh, rice seed production areas of uh, Karim Nagar and Warangal districts of Andhra Pradesh. The cost of cultivation of hybrid seed production is forty-one thousand rupees, which includes the cost of spraying of gibberellic acid and uh, providing supplementary pollination and uh, uh, plucking of the leaves. And uh, the cost of production of varieties is rupees twenty-six thousand. Uh, though the cost of cultivation of varieties is less than less as compared to the uh, hybrid, but the hybrid uh, gives more return. That is seventy-five percent more profit as compared to the variety. so based on the statistics available with us we can say that uh, the ad adaptation of hybrid seed production technology is more profitable as by uh, instead of growing the variety thank you dr thank you dr santosh i think now our farmers came to know how much profit they can earn from producing hybrid rice seeds now dr mina as you know there are several rice varieties in our market then why our farmers should go for hybrid rice seed production well dr rakesh uh, the hybrid rice is more productive than uh, conventional varieties due to its hybrid vigor and it could be more advantageous because of higher productivity of hybrids than varieties and more more yield of hybrids than varieties and uh, the less seed rate uh, requirement for sowing and other one is uh, the less seed area is required for the seed pre pre preparation and uh, the most important thing is that uh, the transfer of desirable characters such as disease and pest resistance and uh, uh, lodging resistance is uh, more easy in in uh, hybrids genotype than varieties that's why the more advantage thank you dr mina for explaining us about the advantages of the rice hybrid over the conventional varieties finally i would like to thank dr suresh dr pinbian dr meena dr shilpa dr santosh i hope 
from today's show, our farmers got an opportunity to know about the hybridized seed production technology. And some of our farmers will be not only interested, but also will be benefited from today's show. For further details, you can contact Krishi Darpan, Postbox 956, Narm, Rajendranagar, Hyderabad, 500030. You can also send your queries at our email ID, Krishi Darpan, at the rate of Yahoo dot co dot in you can also dial our toll free number one five five one that's all for today we will meet again next week with a new topic jai hind jai jawan jai kishan